Canon have announced yet more features for the EOS R5, and it's going to have everybody from your favourite YouTuber to the best independent film shooters very excited. I'm Matt Phillips for Tech Radar, and here's everything you need to know about the Canon EOS R5. It's fair to say that Canon has fallen a little short when it comes to the video offerings of their latest few mirrorless cameras, but it looks like the EOS R5 might be here to save the day with internal 8K recording at 30 frames a second, using the entire width of that sensor, and also while keeping dual pixel AF active. But the good news doesn't stop there. The EOS R5 will also be able to record 4K at 120 frames per second with dual pixel autofocus. All of this even trumps the Canon 1DX Mark III. That Pro DSLR doesn't offer dual pixel AF when shooting in RAW or 60p modes. Another bit of interesting news is the confirmation of the Canon EOS R5's video codecs. When shooting uncropped 8K and 4K, it'll shoot 422 10-bit in Canon Log or HDR PQ. There's no official news on 8-bit options for smaller sizes, but the confirmation of 10-bit recording at those codecs is welcome news for the pros who fancy using the EOS R5 as a second camera alongside their main cinema workhorse. Canon says this means the EOS R5 will be an ideal support filming camera that will shoot comfortably on high-end production sets. And from the specs released so far, it's hard to disagree. That said, there is still many details that we don't know about, including recording limits and how exactly the EOS R5 will avoid heating issues. Would shooting 10 minutes 8K RAW be enough for you, or would you want longer? Let me know in the comments down below what kind of recording limit would be a deal breaker for you when shooting 8K. And the good news just keeps coming. Canon confirmed dual card slots on the EOS R5, but it might not be exactly what you were after. Canon has confirmed that one of these will be a CF Express slot, and the other will be an SD UHS 2 slot. Unlike the 1DX Mark III, which has dual CF Express slots, this shows that the EOS R5 has one eye on attracting the semi pros. If you're looking to get this camera to future-proof your productions, but aren't quite ready to start shooting 8K right now, then that SD UHS 2 slot is going to make sure that this camera is still an option for you. CF Express cards offer incredible data transfer rates that are ideal for shooting 8K video, but are significantly pricier than the more common SD alternatives. We think that Canon is hoping to broaden the EOS R5's appeal beyond the high-end professional world. We still don't know the price of the EOS R5, but rumors have suggested that it will cost in the region of $3,500. That might seem steep, but it does promise more powerful features than any other camera in its weight category, unless the Sony A7S III arrives soon to steal its thunder. Thanks so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content around the EOS R5. Let me know in the comments what your dream price tag for this camera would be and if there are any recording limitations that would be a deal breaker for you. And finally, head over to techradar.com for all the latest tech news and reviews.